Horde tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? The Admiralty Ward has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. What the hell? We need this. We need the Quarian suits to get us through coronavirus. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Go us. <laughs> dun, dun. Anyone got Law and Order vibes? It's getting heavy. You botched it. You yeah. Let's do it then. Let's prove her innocence by force. What the hell we're going into? Vitor! We met this guy way at the start of the game. Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? I'm gonna ask him straight away about his stupid ship name. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Her <laughs> butt wedgie is inescapable. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. Oh. <laughs> Such a dog. <laughs> Behave, you two. Come on. Be professional. <laughs> wow. All right, Tali, what's up with you? You seem upset. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Ward has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. What the hell? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. Yeah. I think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Oh. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems. But they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Oh, that's bad. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Oh, yeah, I reckon. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. What hmm. happens if you're convicted? Like I said, Exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Very good, all right. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. 
And Grizz, who do we have to kill to make these char charges go away? Well, admirals, apparently. I don't know if we can get away with doing admirals. Oh, we haven't visited Joker. Let's see if Joker's got anything to say. We've got to check in with Joker. Uh, is Tally a robot race? No. They are uh, just another race. But they're heavily embedded in technology. They created the original Geth. Remember the Geth? The sentient robot race? My name Jeff. My name Geth. Uh, so they accidentally created the Geth and then were driven off their own home world. And because they've been living in isolation in small, short quarters for so long in sterile environments, their immune system is very weak. So they are completely reliant on always wearing these Enviro suits. They must wear them at all times or become sick and infected pretty much instantly. Here we go, over here. We're going all the way over here. So yes, I'm talking about the Quarian race. So Tali is a Quarian. Yeah, so they're um, wearing, they're all wearing uh, Enviro suits. I think they get them uh, at a young age um, or in very, very small age. I can't remember. And then they wear them for the rest of their lives. We need them for this plague we're suffering. Yeah, we need this. We need the Quarian suits to get us through coronavirus. <laughs> all right, so we've got the location because the, the Quarian fleet is always moving, right? They're kind of like nomads or gypsies, which is why they're very unwelcome in a lot of worlds um, because there's a lot of harsh judgment or mistreatment of Quarians, um, like a bad reputation. So the migrant fleet, we've got the current coordinates from Tally, which is very rare for a non-Quarian to actually be able to come here. So we're going to be the first to do that in quite a while. So a fleet of 50,000 aircraft. So there's 50,000 big ass ships, um, which hold 17 million Quarians in there. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though Quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds across the galaxy, very few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside a Quarian ship. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> Let's go. Cool, so Tally is in. Oh, we should take Miranda because she's Cerberus and the Quarians don't like Cerberus because some other rogue Cerberus offshoot um, tried to sabotage one of their ships or something. So let's see if this brings some interesting interactions. I want to know what's in that massive ship. Look at the size of that. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flag the Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. That's a long phrase. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. <laughs> so my idea is to is to poke the bear by bringing Cerberus. Well, I'm trying to keep it interesting. <laughs> keep it sassy. Oh, more Quarians. Is that Cal Riga or what's going on here? Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I've never actually reached the rank of captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That yes. entitles you to respect among our people. Hmm. May you stand between your crew and harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keel us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Kill us a lie. Thank you very much. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. 
Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. All right. Cool. Ooh. Um, all right, Cardoom. So my Paragon is now maxed. We've now maxed it. Um, I'm trying to get the Renegade up, so I'm trying to take Renegade options a bit more option to boost that up. So theoretically, we should be able to negotiate our way through this. Um, the extra people that helps to be alive, that you know what I'm talking about, Cardoom, they are alive and well. So we should be golden, yes. Um, <laughs> so yes, I'm poking the bear by bringing a Cerberus on board because I thought it'd be interesting, but so far, no reaction as yet. Let's see. It's not the mission for Renegade this time. That's true, we are Paragon all the way here. Let's, uh, can we talk to, to Captain Cardana? You should speak with Admiral Ran. She's waiting for you up ahead. All right, we'll do that. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. Okay. If Tali Zora can't even get the Quadian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. Oh, bullshit. I'll sort it out, don't you worry. Uh, Quarians have a whole thing with their name as well, which I think we'll learn more about soon. Or is it Mass Effect 3? Anyway, let's see. Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Oh, hugs. Auntie Ron, Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron. You called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Oh, interesting. So this is the name stuff. So let's, I won't, I won't talk about it yet. Let's see what they say. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima, whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Right then. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Right, someone who has no idea how their laws work. You would actually speak for my defense. Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. Yeah. This whole trial is a farce. Yep. You underestimate us, Tally. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. All right. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. All right, let's do this. Go us. <laughs> so, yes, um, Quarians, their last name is part of uh, their ship that they're either from or bound to or loyal to. Um, so it's a bit like, you know, the old, uh, like what used to happen in Roman or, you know, um, not medieval times, what I'm thinking, like Renaissance times. Like Leonardo da Vinci was Leonardo from Vinci. Similar kind of thing here, but it can change. That's why there's a big deal with the names. So she's Talizora uh, Vas Nima. That was her ship she was born on and grew up on or something. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kila Salai. Kila Salai. 
The accused Talia Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. Yeah. But right as Talia Dick. captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Good. Shepard vs. Normandy. Bad. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Don't don't. Anyone got Law and Order vibes? It's getting heavy. Ooh, we can be a little bit renegade here. Oh, let's be a little bit renegade. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Right. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Yeah, so it's, it's just a little bit renegade Grizz, so we're not going full renegade. <laughs> but basically, uh, when you choose those glowing options, um, they pretty much should be guaranteed to succeed like 99% of the time. Um, so we should be safe. But again, I'll well, choose words carefully. Um, audience council is very welcome on this as well. So you guys are welcome to contribute. <laughs> she innocent? She couldn't have done this. There's no way she couldn't have done this, right? You want me to say she's innocent? Something's going on here. She innocent. Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What? <laughs> Oh, we might get some murder in for you. Maybe we get to murder some Geth. What happened? Yeah, what the as hell? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Oh, jeez. Your father included. Oh, jeez. What? Oh, Jesus. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. That's right. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship, so far without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. Yes, we do. The best course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend yeah. to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Lovely. Nice. Let's do it then. Let's prove her innocence by force. And actually maybe find her father and maybe find what the hell happened. Because there's no way she would do that knowingly. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you. Yeah, they did. Before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Yeah. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Right. Cool. All right. So we're going to go to the Alarai. 
but it looks like we can talk to a couple of admirals so why don't we do that first because that might even give us some clues as to what the hell we're going into Vitor! We met this guy way at the start of the game. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would not. never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. So Vitor was the guy on the first human colony at the start of the game that we investigate. So he was there doing his pilgrimage and he was there when the collectors came and took away the colony. He managed to lock himself uh, away and hide, but he's still traumatized from what happened. Do you remember anything else about the collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Here we are. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Very good. Who else are we going to talk to? Admiral Zen. Tali Zora. Given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. That sounds like Claudia Black. I reckon she's the... I reckon that, that voice is Claudia Black. The, the person who voiced Morrigan in Dragon Age and was also um, in Farscape, the, the peace, peacekeeper chick that I can't remember her name. I love Claudia Black, she's awesome. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. If you're not interested mm -hmm. in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? to determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. Ooh. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. That's very dangerous. You're insane. <laughs> Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Gerl sees an enemy that must be crushed. Zalchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, Perhaps we have ideas in common. You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. <laughs> a ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. 
Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Charla Rahn is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. Right. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then nice. this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Yes, very suspect. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. So there's a power politics thing at, at, at going on here, right? So someone, one of them wants to just remain at peace and stay as they are. Another admiral wants to go to war with the Geth and try and wipe them out, but that would risk the existing fleet. And she wants to try and take over the Geth again and return them back to being slaves for the Corian. And she doesn't believe that Geth, sentient Geth, really are anything more than machines, which I actually kind of disagree with her. If I mean, if an AI has gained genuine sentience, then that's a form of life of some kind, right? Ooh, ooh, now we're getting philosophical. All this is dodgy. <laughs> ah, so I was right, Grizz. Was I right about Claudia Black? She plays um, Admiral Zahn and Matriarch Aeth... Aeth... Aethita. Aethita? Matriarch Aethita. Oh, I wonder who that is. Is that in Mass Effect 3, perhaps, when we go to Thessia? All right, Cal Riga, let's talk to this guy. So this guy we saved and rescued and persuaded him to be rescued on the mission to find and help Tally. Cal Riga. Voiced by Adam Baldwin. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. <laughs> have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Corians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Mm. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Tally Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank we you. We sure can. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard. I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't mm. think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Yeah, I reckon it's going to be the Reapers who are dicking around with stars somehow. Good luck yeah, Sparkle Source. 
Stay safe out there. You're on the money. I reckon the Reapers were the one messing around with the with the uh, the dark energy on that star on that planet. I guess we'll find out. I'm really keen to see what's going on here. Could the Reapers have influenced the Geth on this part? Where are we going to go? We're going to go that way, do we? Check stuff in here. Where does this go? It just takes us back to our ship, does it? All right, well. Oh, oh dear. This way. Let's talk to some others on the way out if we can. A low down. Shala Ran. You set me up, Shala. You told yeah. Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admirals yeah. needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake Dalaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tally. At least someone here is looking out for Tally. Will retaking the Alarai really help her case? Tally showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With luck, it will exonerate Tally from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find father. You should get to yeah. the other eye soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Yeah, probably. Um, Pellis, I don't know, stuff. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, <laughs> but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You got that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development, or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tally, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Thank you, Shalaran. 
The voice of Shalaran is also someone that you'd recognize too. Like she's in a bunch of stuff, random movies. She's in The Expanse as well. There's such a good acting cast in this game. <laughs> so much conversation options. She's a whole lecture of information. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, we're nearly, we're nearly free. We're nearly out of here. We've only got a couple more. Andor's first thought is to protect the fleet. Right, first thought to protect the fleet. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. Yeah. You're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked to me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass hmm. called us idiots. Yeah. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's rail for you. Oh, bit of a legend. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You <laughs> disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Right. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. You noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. <laughs> Hang in there, kid. His voice sounds familiar. <clears throat> ah, so bright. So Flemeth, wondering if voiced by Kate Mulgrew sounds so familiar. So you reckon the same person who voiced Flemeth is the one who voiced Shalaran. So he's saying, I thought Flemeth's voice was like more chirpy and old lady-like. Rather than like Frenchy, uh, horsey sounding. I didn't expect a human to be such a good speaker. 
Oh, here's Admiral Chorus. Who's the one that is not popular? Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take ah. pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. His voice sounds familiar. Everyone's voice sounds familiar now. I'm going to ask him straight away about his stupid ship name. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures and have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrans or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib, mm. and I will not flee because of petty insults. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. That is somewhat valid. Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Well, I somewhat agree with him because the Quarians did create the Geth. They then panicked when they became sentient and tried to wipe the Geth out. They failed in doing so, so the Geth retaliated, grew their forces, and um, wiped out a lot of Quarians and forced them away from their homeworld. I do agree with him that, you know, there needs to be some kind of peace between them, but I don't agree with him being all, like, backstabby and pussyfooty around Tali and her dad. Um, that's kind of, that's a bit lame. That's a bit lame. So Grizz, Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe is voiced by the same lady that plays Deputy Undersecretary of Executive Administration Kristen Jensen, Kristen Avasala, Avasala, Alara, Sarala, on The Expanse. Oh yeah, so it's the same, it is the same woman. She's also in, um, other stuff as well, right? Is she in, is she in Matrix Reloaded? Is that the same person? And um, the shoot is it the 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 movie with Clive o Clive Owen shoot him up or something? I think is that her as well. I might be mis misremembering stuff. Anyway, cool. Let's crack on with some action. We've done all the political talkings. We've got the background as to what's going on. Let's find out what Tali's father was doing with these parts. Let's find out what's happening on this ship. Why is there Geth there? Can we rescue anyone? And can we, therefore... It's about more than just killing Geth. Tell us what is guilty. Well, that's a bit rude. We'll find out. Save the day. If Yora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an eloquent one. Oh, well, thank you very much. An eloquent captain, thank you. Let's just use... 
Uh, really hard words for Shay to pronounce on here for all the ships. <laughs> oh no, I'm so bad at pronouncing. Don't, don't play on my weakness. He can read out loud as well. He can drive any any vehicle. Yes, poorly crashes. I crash the words all over the place. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Ast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the LRI? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the LRI. Cool, let's go. Let's head to the LRI. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kila Salai. Kila Salai. Thank you, Grizz. You've clarified it. That's Monica Bellucci I'm thinking of. Very helpful. Love having you guys on to clarify all my stupidities. 